Welcome back to Passport Style. As is normal on this channel, I have made a seriously financially irresponsible decision by purchasing this Burberry C-Print fleece jacket with detachable warmer. Say that 40 times fast. And because I'm seriously crazy, I bought um, I, I bought a second one to unbox on camera. Let's talk about it. And I learned from the first time opening this, they've got a fancy, uh, fancy one of these. This is just the receipt, I think. Um, but uh, here's the cool part. So it actually comes in sort of like a suit bag. And uh, if you can see, there's a hanger. Someone has a patent for that. Uh, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Oh no. Just to show you the bag that it comes in. It has two handles. It buttons together. Buttons all over. And this side, zipper top to bottom. We'll go ahead and put that on the rack. All right. There's actually something really cool I just noticed right off the bat. These are one of one each. So if you can see here, there's like, a, you know, clouds going down the middle where this one doesn't quite have it. The waves are different as well. So this is what it looks like right out of the garment bag in this case. Um, and on the left, so this is a 52, uh, which is a 42 in US sizing. And then on the right is a 50 in UK sizing and a 40 in US sizing. Um, so this is considered like a medium large, and I guess this would be like a large, extra large. All right, so now I've, I've reset the 50 to the way it came right out of the box, so we can uh, explore, you know, the, the Mariana's Trench of this C print together. Um, so it does have a Velcro, Velcro leather on the outside, and then it's just like one of those Russian dolls where you keep getting jackets instead of jackets. Um, plastic zippers, which are pretty hype. Um, everyone's doing those now. One pocket right on the outside, which is pretty cool. Um, it also is very deep, rolling in the deep, um, all the way here under sea level. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so currently we have the detachable warmer attached. <laughs> as soon as you open this up, you're going to see how stupid of a decision you made. The price is in here. I'm going to burn this right after the video. I haven't opened this up. I'm assuming it's buttons. And nope, that's that's too deep for me. I'll read these in Japanese fluently. So to detach these two, I'll show you in a second. Um, the inside layer is actually inside out. Um, so that's why there are more pockets here because once we turn it out, turn this out, uh, then you'll see these will become the outside pockets. And just to quickly look inside the sleeves. Uh, so you've got sort of the, the ribbed uh, fabric at the wrists, and these are actually buttoned through a loop. So they keep these in place. And um, I'll take this plastic off eventually. For deconstructing this thing, you basically only have to remember that the detachable warmer needs to be inside out for it to actually connect. So once these zippers are off, you just need to make sure that the pockets are unbuttoned. Flex. <sighs> Thinking about my credit card payment. So then you just, you know, 
make like a snake and or a or a walnut and just or corn for that matter and just dehusk. <laughs> <laughs> you have two separate jackets now. Now let's take a look at this first since it is slightly less interesting than the outer um, layer. Uh, so just put it right side out. Oh, and I'm just gonna put it on. <laughs> ha! Who? Who? <laughs> and then um, slip it up. And then I'm so hip. Oh no! Don't do that. That looks terrible. All right. So I just fell off of a bicycle somewhere. A motorcycle. Um, so you can wear the standalone. Um, I can tell it's gonna be pretty warm. Pretty sure this is filled with polyester, uh, but I'll leave the info in the description. The pockets, I would note, are like slightly higher than like what's natural, but it's still really comfortable. You can just rest your hands in here. Um, they're pretty wide pockets, actually pretty large. Can I uh, extend all my fingers inside? Ribbing around, and then here's the back. Yeah, it's uh, pretty lit. If you need to flex whatever watch you're wearing, you could pretty easily do that as well. Pull it up a little bit. Yeah, I can see myself wearing this on occasion if I just want a black jacket. Slap the subscribe button. So there are a few things I noticed as soon as I put this on. The first time is, it is amazing. But also um, it's got like an oversized fit to the arms, which I personally love. And this is a 50 and it goes like the length after the hands is very slightly longer than where you'd want it, but it's, it's pretty, pretty close to perfect. You can adjust this, which I'll go ahead and do. So yeah, this is what it looks like on body. I'll go ahead and uh, zip it up. There you go. Oh, this is great. I feel like a blueberry muffin in the water. All right, in terms of length, it comes, you know, past the waist a little bit, com comfortably, a uh, comfortable length. Definitely warm on its own. You could probably get away with wearing this through like normal winters, but if you live you know, in New England, Canada, Moscow, um, probably need to have that uh, inner layer on during the winter as well. So it's a medium weight. Like obviously it's, you know, it's, it's a fleece, but it's not as thick as you'd think. And that's why it comes with the uh, um, other jacket inside as well. So, you know, hopefully you've already beat down the like button, you have applied pressure to the subscribe button, and uh, you're making my friend here happy by uh, rolling in the deep thickness um, of, uh, of the subscribe button again. So let me know in the comments down below if you love this jacket or if you really liked it, like you like this video. Um, we'll see you next time.